Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on Hydrops fetalis. Hydrops fetalis is caused by immune and non-immune conditions. It is a fetal clinical condition of excessive fluid accumulation in the skin and one or more other body compartments, including the pleural space, peritoneal cavity, pericardial sac, or placenta with resultant high morbidity and mortality. Hydrops initially was described in association with rhesus blood group ISA immunization. The use of Rho-D immune globulin has reduced the incidence of ISA immune fetal hydrops. Concurrently, the incidence of non-immune hydrops has increased as a cause of this severe clinical condition. Fetal hydrops results from an imbalance of interstitial fluid accumulation, and decreased removal of fluid by the capillaries and lymphatic system. Fluid accumulation can be secondary to congestive heart failure, obstructed lymphatic flow, or decreased plasma oncotic pressure, in hypoproteinemic states. Edema formation is the final common pathway for many disease processes that affect the fetus, including fetal cardiac, genetic, hematological, metabolic, infection, or malformation syndromes. The diagnostic workup of the hydropic fetus should focus on discovering the underlying cause. Maternal findings may include hypertension, anemia, multiple gestation, thickened placenta, and polyhydromnios. Whereas fetal findings may include tachycardia, ascites, scalp and body wall edema, and pleural and pericardial effusion. Invasive fetal testing may be indicated. Amniocentesis provides amniotic fluid samples for karyotype, culture, alpha fetoprotein, and metabolic and enzyme analysis. Percutaneous umbilical cord blood sampling can provide fetal blood for chromosomal analysis and hematological and metabolic studies. And provide a source for intervention. Next, management depends on the underlying cause and the gestational age of the fetus. Resuscitative efforts at delivery are often required. It is often necessary to remove acidic fluid from the abdomen or pleural fluid to improve ventilation. Profound anemia necessitates immediate transfusion with packed red blood cells. For its prognosis, the overall mortality for infants with non-immune hydrops is approximately 50%. If the diagnosis is made before 24 weeks of gestation with subsequent premature delivery, the survival rate is approximately 4 to 6%. That's all for this video. Thank you.